Welcome to the Automated Daily, Tech News Edition. I'm your host, Trend Teller, and today is the 16th of September, 2023. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. Apple has unveiled its latest iPhone 15 series, which includes four models, the iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15 Pro, and iPhone 15 Pro Max. The big news is that all models now feature a USB-C port, replacing the traditional Lightning port. The base models, the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus, share the same processor and camera specs, with the iPhone 15 starting at $699 and the iPhone 15 Plus at $799. The Pro models, on the other hand, come with an additional telephoto camera, with the iPhone 15 Pro starting at $999 and the iPhone 15 Pro Max at $1,199. Pre-orders are already underway, with general availability slated for September 22nd. Unity, the popular game engine, has stirred up a hornet's nest with its proposed Unity runtime fee. Developers using the free version of the engine will be charged $0.20 for every game installation on a device after the game hits 200,000 downloads and $200,000 in revenue. This change, set to take effect on January 1, 2024, has left developers scratching their heads over tracking installs, privacy requirements, and the potential impact on upcoming games and subscription services. Apple switch from its lightning connector to USB-C chargers for all its products, including the iPhone, is a significant move. This change was prompted by a request from the European Commission for all phone and laptop producers to switch to the USB-C connector. USB-C outperforms Lightning in terms of data transfer speed and charging capabilities, and it's not proprietary, meaning it's compatible with more devices. Delivery times for the iPhone 15 Pro Max have slipped to November, indicating strong demand for the high-end version of Apple's new lineup. The Pro Max model, starting at $1,199, initially promised delivery by September 22 but is now expected to be delivered as late as mid-November in the U.S. Apple's environmental efforts have been under scrutiny, but since Tim Cook took over as CEO in 2011, Apple has been increasingly focused on improving its environmental performance. The company has bought renewable energy, started using recycled materials in its products, and set a goal to eliminate carbon emissions from all its products by 2030. Philips Hue has introduced a new smart home security system called Philips Hue Secure. The system works with Hue's existing smart lights, motion sensors, and new contact sensors to monitor doors and windows. When armed, the system sends alerts and can trigger lights to flash and set off an alarm. Apple has announced that iOS 17 will be available as a free upgrade on September 18. The new update will bring features such as improved FaceTime, contact sharing with NameDrop, a new journal app, and enhanced autocorrect. Destiny 2 is currently experiencing one of the worst bugs in its history, allowing players to create overpowered weapons with game-breaking perks. Bungie, the developer of Destiny 2, is aware of the issue and is working on a fix. Google is developing an artificial intelligence I, system called Gemini to compete with OpenAI's chat GPT. Gemini is being developed by Google DeepMind and combines the strengths of DeepMind's AlphaGo system with extensive language modeling capabilities. The smart tire company, STC, has released airless bike tires made with NASA technology. The METL tires are made from a shape memory alloy that is elastic like rubber but strong like titanium. The tires have minimal rolling resistance, require no air pressure, and last the lifetime of the vehicle. And that's a wrap for today's edition of the Automated Daily. I'm Trend Teller, and I'll be back tomorrow with more tech news. Stay tuned, stay informed.